Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to make square video in Final Cut Pro 10. Sometimes it's cool to be square. Now I'm gonna share with you how to create square or vertical projects in Final Cut Pro. Then we're gonna take 16 by nine footage and fit it into those square and vertical projects. We can also take existing projects and put them in there using Smart Conform. And lastly, what, we'll what I'll show you is how to use square or vertical footage in a 16 by nine format. I think that covers it. Let's go check it out. So to get started, we're here in our timeline. We're gonna open a new library. We're gonna call it mobile video. And we'll change this to mobile videos. We're gonna right click here or press Command N. And that's gonna create a new project. So what we're gonna look at here is a, how to do the square video. Now in the past, what you needed to do is click on this video spot here, go to custom. And instead of having 1920 by 1080, we would be doing 1080 by 1080. And that would create a square project. But Final Cut got smart and they added some fun features with the square and vertical options. So let's open up a square project and we're gonna set it to 1080p. And here we go, square video. All right, first thing we're gonna do is track down some clips. All right, so I'm gonna drag some clips in. Let's close that up. All right, so you can see that when you insert a 16 by nine video into this video project, it's going to have those bars on the top and bottom. So to fix those bars, we're gonna go over to the inspector window, scroll down to the bottom of the video tab, and find spatial conform. Now there's a few different options. Fit is gonna fit the entire image or frame inside of the new frame. None is going to have it blow up or shrink to the size pixel by pixel that it will fit in. And fill, just like it sounds, it's gonna fill up every pixel for you and expand horizontally or vertically, and you can make some adjustments. Let's say you don't like how that's positioned. You can actually take this and slide it back and forth to the point that you want it to be. Like if you want to just see the bug, and you got that. If you want to be able to see the girl walking up to it, pretty cool. So you can customize that further. We can drop in some titles. So since we're dealing with social media, let's bring in something dramatic. And we can change these titles into something different. We've got a title here. We can name that Balloons. The next one, we can name that Van. And the final one, we can name Lady. Playing that back, Balloons, Van, Lady. So that's ready for social media. We'll be able to export it as a MP4. And for Instagram, we can send it to our phone and upload it from there. So now the other thing I'm gonna do is come down here and track down some audio. All right, let's bring that in. That sounds fun. Blade right there. Nice. Let's say we wanna add an effect like this right here. We can change it to Change up the mix a little bit. There we go. We got our fun mobile video. We can export that. Bring it in here to computer. And it's saving as an MP4. 1080, 7.3 megabytes, not bad. Next, and save. And here it is, sharing and we're ready to go. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. All right, let's square things up. We'll release more videos, and you, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. All right, so I've got a different file here, and this one is already in 16 by nine format. So it's widescreen, but we wanna get that into a, uh, a mobile format. So if we wanna get make that a square video, the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this project file. We are gonna duplicate project as, and that brings up our options here. Do dance mobile, and we're gonna select square. And 
1080. And there's this little checkbox here called Smart Conform. Like it says on the screen, analyze clips for faces and reframe clips in the duplicate project whose aspect ratio is different from the project's aspect ratio. That's Smart Conform. It'll take a moment. Let's go ahead and create that. It's analyzing all the clips. Now let's check that out, see how it did. Let's give us some space to see this here. All right, you can tell we've got we've got a little bit of work to do. Um, a lot of the action is taking place in all the, all the center of the shots here. This title did get goofed up a little bit. So let's put it in a spot where we can see this title. We're gonna bring this in. Got controls on the screen, look at that. And with just one small modification, we've now taken that 16 by nine video and turned it into a square video by just adjusting the title a little. So another way that we can change a 16 by nine video to fit into a square uh, video, we're gonna go over here, select the project, go to modify. And in here we will find that we can change it to square or vertical. So we set that to 1080, open it up here. Again, the title just needs to be adjusted. We're going from one thing to the next and looks like that just needs to be done every time. So something else we can do with this video is we can take those bars on top and make them disappear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these clips, make it a compound clip, then we're gonna click option and drag that clip above itself. Then we're gonna click on the bottom clip and scale it up until it is filled in the frame. Now if we play that back, let's see what kind of effect that made. That looks pretty good. Now what you can do with this as well is you can change some of those settings on here. So you can maybe bring the opacity down so in the background it's kind of, kind of a little more dim. You can also drag an effect. Let's just get a Gaussian blur. And whoo, that is blurry. So we can take that amount down if we want. Just so it gets a little bit of focus to the main video, but it still has that fun background and fills the entire frame. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna create a um, vertical clip here. So another way we can use those black bars is we can actually move our titles into those spaces. Which in this case, it gives uh, more focus to the dancers on the screen, but let's say you didn't wanna do that and we wanna add our own titles. Let's just do custom. We're just gonna bring that in. Custom, I'm gonna drag that title up. Dancing Fever, and let's add a Let's modify these a little bit. Nice, okay, that's fun. And then we can do another one of these right below it. And we can put something else in there. Click link in bio, because that's what all the kids say. Okay, now let's say you forgot to turn your camera phone sideways to capture some footage. And you still want to use it for your project, but you just don't want to leave those black bars on the side. There's a couple things we can do, some very similar to some of the other effects we tried before. So the first one we're gonna try is right here with this uh, ski lift. We're gonna choose this uh, lower layer after we copy it. And we are going to scale that up. So we can either dim that and have that sort of effect, or we just drag and drop, go to the blur options, Gaussian blur, take the amount down a little bit just to where you're wanting it to be. I wanna be able to see some of the background, and boom, there you go, nice effect. All right, so for this last example, we're gonna take a look at this other vertical clip. We're gonna copy this twice. So let's drag the clip above, and one more time. And now we're gonna take one of these and drag it to the left. Find the edge there, we're gonna take another one, drag it to the right, right to the edge. Look at that. That's real fun, we got that uh, clip repeating. All right, you can take that a step further and you can actually add some looks to this. So we're gonna find some looks here, drag one over. That's a very blue look, that's pretty fun. You can put the heat wave on another one. That's fun, look at that. All right, we got three very distinct looking colors. 
and just adding a little bit of pop. <laughs> Get it, balloon, pop? Adding a little bit of pop to your vertical video. Great job, you should be proud. Chin up, square your shoulders, walk confident. Now, I have a free gift for you. A pack of Final Cut Pro 10 plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it is yours free. Just click below for your free gift.